Missing children, missing and abducted children is an extraordinarily complex area. It uh, mixes, uh, you, you heard many of the presenters here today talking about how it mixes uh, both civil and criminal law. Uh, it involves all of the different channels for communication and international communication. There's the police channel, the judicial channel, the uh, diplomatic channel, all getting involved for the children. So the key outcomes here today were that um, all of those channels should be used more, uh, especially the police channel. And when I talk about the police channel, I talk about the, the tools that are put in place both by Interpol and by the European Union. So, for example, in Interpol we heard all about yellow notices that are, can be published even publicly or um, among police services for information about a missing child. We would call, that, we would call um, for countries to systematically, to, to systematically publish yellow notices for missing and abducted children. Um, there's blue notices for information about a missing parent, perhaps who's missing with the children or thought to be missing with the children. We would call for yellow notices to be issued in, in relation to unaccompanied minors who are going missing because this is obviously a, a, a key issue because we don't know exactly, we suspect we know where they're going, but we don't know exactly where they're going. We would also call for the use of the Schengen information system, the alert mechanism in the Schengen information system. With, we see no, no reason why they, should be, uh, why they should be mutually exclusive. They should absolutely be used together, uh, especially since the Schengen uh, system operates within the European Union, while the yellow notices are a global tool. So there's absolutely, and there's no reason why member countries can't do this and can't use both systems hand in hand. So that, that is the most important one that come out of it. But also, I think there's been also some recommendations in relation to holding this meeting again, perhaps under the auspices of the Interpol Specialist Group on Crimes Against Children. There's been another recommendation around multidisciplinary training, something that Interpol calls for all the time. There, as I said already, this is a very complex area. There's m uh, enormous amounts of people involved at different levels uh, of society. And so it's important that when training courses happen, that they happen on a multidisciplinary level, that you're bringing these people together, training them together, and ensuring that the work is done. So, we, we, you know, th those are the two most important uh, uh, recommendations that we've had.